Oops, that's still up there. <laughs> Yoink, there we go. All right. Welcome back, everybody. We are continuing here forward with some... Um, my wires are all tangled. Oops. Um, <laughs> we're continuing forward here with some more Unio, with some basic character knowledge here. We just finished uh, Orie and Nanase. And I was just saying in chat, too, it's kind of a weird coincidence that like the four characters we've done have all been kind of normalish characters, mm. but the characters get a lot more wild than 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 than, than <laughs> what you've seen so far. Trust me on that one. Maybe the next two are gonna be crazy. Uh, let's see, uh, Phonon and Seth. Yeah. Oh, well, okay, we're getting into. Well, the crazy I'll do characters. Seth and you do Phonon because you've actually been learning Phonon a little bit. Uh, right? not or... really. Oh, but okay, I don't know. okay. It all right, really that's matter. fine. I'll do Phonon then. I'll do Phonon. I'll do I'll do it in, that, in the correct order. All right, so let's see. Right. Phonon and Seth. Oh, God, Seth is Seth. wild. And then we're going to change up the stage. Uh, let's, Maybe go to the yeah, playground. Yeah, let's do that one. And then we want Phonon's background oh, music. Left. Uh, there we go. Yeah. Watch the time it takes. One, two. Ah, Just we're two done. Seconds. Dude, that is ridiculous. Oh, not Phonon. You are learning somebody else. That's right. That's A right. Wagner. Wagner, that's what it was. That's right. Phonon is... Phone on is whip chick. That's yeah. right. Oh god. Oh, she's like top tier, right? She's top tier. Yeah. She's top tier. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Phone on. So the guy in the chat, Kenny Riot, who's been typing a lot, helping us a lot here. He's the one who helped us out with phone on here. Again, shout outs to Kenny Riot. He's been helping us a lot. He has a bunch of information for Uniel as well. He has mm -hmm. his own content. So look him up on Twitter and everything like that as well. So um. Uh, he has a lot of information. He's a good resource to, 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 to keep in contact with who can guide mm -hmm, you to mm -hmm. a lot of good Uniel resources. So character archetype um, uh, says that she's a semi-aggressive zoning, zoning character. character. And her unique traits, abilities, is she doesn't really have any unique traits except for probably just... Super the, long range. The range! <laughs> yeah. oh, you talked about that command throw that hit 90% 90 90 of the screen away? How about it's a like sweep? That hits 90% of the screen away. You thought you thought Catwoman was bad. I mean, look at this <laughs> thing here, dude. Jesus. This thing is ridiculous. Okay, what makes him different from the rest of the cast? He's got tools to handle opponents up close, far away, and a means to create favorable situations for herself. Yeah, so I guess she has a, a pretty decent Oki, and then, like, she has... Yeah, okay. She has a lot of options for every range, which is nice. Okay. So her verbal trait is that impulse comes out four frames faster, and her upper invulnerability starts three frames sooner. Uh, so I guess that's the uppercut? Is that uh, what it is? Impulse is... Uh, I don't know what impulse... Oh, oh it's impulse. her force, force function. function. Okay. Oh, oh it's I this see. move. Okay. Kind of like an anti-air kind of... Mm, okay, so it can hit above her like that, but all it does is that it just comes out four frames faster and her upper invulnerability starts three frames sooner. That's it. Okay. That's it. Oh, but that's nice though. It's pretty yeah. nice. Okay. Uh, game plan. Overall game plan. Space control. Yeah. What Phonon needs to do to win to dominate and manipulate the space between herself and the opponent in order to get her damage in. So basically creating situations where opponents will put themselves in positions you can take advantage of. Sounds a lot like Dalsum, I'm not going to lie yeah. right now. Uh, does she have an upward whip? Oh, yeah. Jesus, that move is far. Oh, it doesn't really hit above her very well. Okay, okay, got it. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's like you have to use the right normal mm -hmm. for the right situation. Okay, um, she can keep pressure while keeping opponents out and get in when she needs to with the right moves or just bring her opponents to her. Uh, mm. Pay special attention to her increased moves as you could definitely play your opponents with them. Well, I guess we'll learn about that a little yeah. bit more. Her normals are varied enough that she's not stuck only being at useful distance, but she can handle herself a bit up close as well. Yeah, okay. I mean, anybody with a, a chain series like that right. is going to be okay for them. God, that's so nice. Wow. Um, she, but she can handle that. Sometimes someone that's skilled at mind game spacing and reading will be able to punish well with her. Yeah, I mean, so she's just got good range. Yeah. So she crazy. controls this mid range here, but then she also has this. Yeah, it kind of makes it you a little scared. And actually, that interesting, the second hit of standing C sucks you in. Yeah. So th even if you fish with that, that kind of opens you up to your... Like that, right? Yeah. So I can do 5C, B, down B, and then down C, basically. Okay, that's cool. 
uh, weaknesses. Characters with stronger range, such as Gordo or Waldstein, can punish her bad guesses with ease. Rush down characters can blow up Phonon's defense if she fails at keeping her opponent out. You can increase. Oh, oh. I can hold it. Okay. I see. Ooh. Oh wow, the holding is like so much more. Yeah, I know. That's Dang. crazy. Dang. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. So you really gotta know the the distances mm -hmm. that she's like pulling them in mm -hmm. and stuff like that. That's really. So you can crazy. control the distance at which you're at, and you have to react to that distance carefully. Okay. Interesting. Like to spit out a chip. <laughs> um, while her specials are generally good, quite a few of them are situational at best. So her opponent is good at taking those opportunities away from her by any means. She'll form more limited than she actually yeah, is. Yeah, I mean, I can. We'll tell, get to the specials in a yeah, little bit. Yeah, I can so. tell that like she probably has like her her moves probably have a lot of recovery, mm -hmm. especially like that sweep. So if like if you just like throw it out, then you can just assault it. Oh, oh you mean this thing here? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the three C or something, you know? Just oh, like, oh, the three C. Yeah, this yeah. thing is gonna be dead. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So you're gonna have to read her a lot for making okay. the right. The wrong choice for her, whatever move she picks. This 4B is just so fast. Wow. Jesus. So actually, then I can just do. Then charge it up and suck you in. Okay, yeah. anyways. <laughs> um, how to beat this character? Trick her into making batteries and opening herself up. Right. It's yeah. dulcet, right? It's like jump over this, jump over this, because this move is doesn't hit very high, as we saw earlier. See, oh, yeah. like that. Like right? a regular jump over Ooh. it or something. Yeah, basically. But the not hard part is that she goes backwards yeah. when she does it, so she pushes herself out of range. You probably have to jump assault her or something like that. Yeah, and then get in that way, so... Okay. Um, if you're smarter than, Phonon, than the Phonon that you're fighting, you're going to close the distance that she needs to keep you out and you'll blow her up. So the fundamentals you'll learn, you're going to learn how to control space, baiting opponents into whiffing attacks, and precision in using command normal. So yeah, get them to whiff, and then you can go with that, basically. Yeah. So, yeah, look at that. This, God. That's ridiculous. That's such a yeah, good Yeah, it's like poke. if Dalsum had a close-up pressure. Right. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's that so was good. all a string. That yeah. was all a string. That's okay. so good. So ground moves, uh, special moves, affliction. So she that's has the fireball. fireball. So the light one, um, slow, heavy one, much Balls faster. Fast. Uh, semi fast pace and hits once. Increased version has slower startup. Oh, I guess it's uh, a charged one. Oh, yeah. So I guess increased. Get hit by it. Get hit by it. So it's four hits. Uh, oh, and it wall bounces too. Dang. Oh, no, it just like does a, like a little freeze animation. Oh, dang. Oh, and then you get a combo <laughs> off of it. Yeah. Jesus. Oh, okay, you could have flipped out of that one, but that was still sick, though. Um, okay, um, so the A one, yeah, the ground B one is a little bit slower, uh, has, but the increased version, obviously all the startup is in the frozen part. It's interesting, she has a little more delay on her back dash than I think. See how it, yeah, so watch, let me hold up. See how she has to settle in when she lands? I keep doing the special move when I land, uh, but she has a little bit more delay on her backdash than it looks. Yeah, so, so it makes her not uh, a So, a so she bit can't backdash away from you all day. She's got a slower backdash. Hmm. Okay, and then the EX version. Okay, it's just a six hit uh, instant startup move extra fast. So the opponent can recover from every version of this but comboing after the increased and EX versions is easier than trying to do so after the normal one. Um, normal affliction require chain shifting if you want to immediately do uh, something yeah. about it. So. so I guess the C version you can combo too. Let's see. Oh yeah, then I could just do that, yeah, off of that. But then, like you said, off the C one. Oops. If I'm closer than that, probably. Yeah, yeah look at that. Good combo is nice. Uh, that's cool, okay. Yeah, and, and she also can do them in the air, which I see most of the time. Wait, so, oh, she can do, oh, yeah, dang. So this is like Akuma fireball status, like oh, ST Akuma. Oh, Jesus, they gave her an air fireball? Yep. Makes it really hard to deal with this. Now I'm just picturing Dalsum with this fireball. And it's making <laughs> me very sad, actually. Dalsum with a fireball. And, then she, and what's interesting about her Tiger Knee version, if you notice, she, she keeps the momentum going oh. after her jump. Like that. See how she keeps going up? She doesn't fall back down. 
So if I tiger knee it, she keeps going forward and she's stuck. Yeah, so usually you want to do it at the height right. of the jump. Right, you, you want to do it on the way down or something like that. Oh, the B1, but the B1 doesn't go anywhere, I see, I see. So the B1, oh, you can tiger knee and she falls. Interesting. But this is probably only best close up here. Okay. Um, so yeah, 30 degree, 40 degree downward angle. There's a jump forward following the projectile after firing. Oh, so even if I jump backwards, she moves forward like that. Oh, On the A one, she keeps going backwards, so she follows her oh, momentum, okay. basically. Can I charge these? No, I cannot. There's no impulse version of these. The uh, C one is just a quick fireball that hits six times. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, so let's see. Uh, we'll travel. Okay, so this one will always make her go forward. And if I tiger knee this one, yeah, it's just like the B one basically. Mm, okay. Okay. So uh, rhythm mm -hmm. oh, status. That's, uh, that's a reka, I think. Rhythm satisfaction. Two one four a whips her opponent's legs once. Is that a low block? High block? Okay, it's not. not. Low. Okay. Oh, okay. So the A one goes low, despite the attack looking low, can be blocked while standing. You're gonna add two additional hits by pressing four A. The forearm will flourish after the last hit. Okay, that one last one was low. Okay. Oh, wait. How did I do that? That was weird. I don't know how I did that. Huh. Hmm. That's weird. Anyways. Okay. Maybe there's a different button. Yeah, 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 we'll see this. So the flourish at the end is, is weak right there, so... Um... The B version whips at an upward angle. It will hit a grounded or airborne opponent. You can add additional hits by hitting 4A. Okay. Wait, just block, just block really quick. Um, are the follow-ups the same? Yeah. No matter if you hit B or A, the follow-ups are the huh. same, okay. basically. Okay, yeah. Yeah, even if you hit C, the follow-ups are exactly the same. Hmm, interesting. Okay. okay. So. So you just want to hit confirm this, so block really quick. So if you block and you do two of them, you want to... S oh, wait. Oh. Oh, it's a one hit hit confirm? Oh, then? it's just a one. Oh, that's a problem, okay. Yeah, so you just have to one hit hit confirm. Because if you go with two of them, yeah. Because if you go with two of them... Wait. Oh, sorry. Yeah, if you go with two of them, then I can be punished mm -hmm. there. So you don't. There's not three of them. There's only two parts yeah. to it. One, two, which does two hits there right away. So, oh, I did five C on the, by accident. Oh That's yeah, okay. okay. <laughs> so then the EX version of this. Oh. Oh, that's cool looking. High block. Oh, wow. High block. Okay, so it's not a low. Okay. Uh, phone on quickly whips her to the opponent five times. So the last hit knocking the opponent into the air, allowing. So then she just hits in the air. The A and B versions are safe on block if you don't use the additional hits, but adding the extra two makes them extremely unsafe if you don't have any chain shift. So the EX version is unsafe on its own, um, and then the A version can combo into the EX with or without the extra hits. Hmm. So I can do um, basically, uh, yeah. yeah, cancel into yeah, it. Yeah, typical cancel. Yeah. Okay. Uh, guidance ascension uppercut. uppercut. Oh dang, she yeah, has so a ranged, a ranged one. uppercut, yeah. Oh dang. That makes it really hard. <laughs> yeah. But it's like you have to be in the right distance. Right. It's more dalsam esque right. than in, in that sense. You have to have a good prediction yeah. on when they're going to try to jump. Or just if you think they're going to get close to you, you can do that one. Um, whips upwards, causing a shockwave. It le layers three hits on the opponent, knocks them in the air. Do I get even combos after that? Let me see this. Oh, yeah. that was a real combo. Dang. Okay, yeah, I can probably jump cancel into stuff there. Okay, um, B version quickly whips upwards, goes across the screens. Uh, EX version uh, in front of her to the top of the screen. Dang, okay. So A1 doesn't quite go, but the C1 goes all the way up to the top. Mm. Uh, only right next to her, if the shotgun connects, it will layer eight hits. A version works as a decent anti-air. Uh, uh, it's safe on block. Oh, wow, really? really? Wait, no. Oh, the B version is safe on block, I guess. Let's yeah. see. Well, the B one, of course, is going to be safe on block because it's so far away, right? 
Okay, anyways, uh, the B version of Guidance Ascension is tricky as the distance of Shockwave varies depending on how far away. Oh, really? So if I'm... Or, uh, I forget the, her, his, his move that makes him go super oh, fast Oh, the rush forward, the yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyways. Um, hmm, okay. Um, oh, okay, I, I, I have that move yeah, The B version never completely leaves the screen. So if you've got the opponent in the corner, it practically works like the A version. Okay, mm. so in other words, from here, if I do the B version, he's got the weird back dash. Oh, yeah. So if I do the B version, it'll, it'll always be like right that. there. Okay. okay. Uh, the EX version is a hyped up version. It's not safe on block. You can't even chain shift out of it. I wonder if oh, it has really? invincible, invincibility. Oh yeah, totally punishable. Yeah, it looks like it has some invincibility on it. Okay. Yeah, so it's gonna be a wake yeah. up move. Okay. All right. <clears throat> uh, restraint two two a. Bonum jumps backwards. Oh dang! Oh. And whips the ground at a fifty five degree angle, causing a shock wave. Okay. Okay, that's nice. Um, if the shock wave connects, it will knock the opponent high into the ground. Oh, you do get to flip. Okay, gotcha. B version. The B the version. 35. Oh yeah, look at that. It hits across the screen. Oh wow. Oh that's irritating. Okay. Uh, causing a shockwave right if the shockwave connects, it will knock the opponent high into the air. The EX version. Oh, I guess so, Oh it tracks. Yeah. Yeah, it tracks. It tracks. Okay. Um Shotgun connects, okay. With this one, you have to be very careful. This performance is gonna leave Phonon on in a compromising position in midair if she misses. So yeah, careful. It can be used in evasive punish, but it's extremely situational. As well, all three of the moves are safe-ish on block. Most characters' supers will eat it alive. Make sure they don't have enough grid or EX to get them out of danger from the move before you get So you can combo the A version of Restraint into the A version of Affliction. Oh, really? Oh, interesting. Huh, oh, how wow. funny. Okay. Um, and then B version into the B version. Oh, nice. Oh, dang. The C version of restraint can combo into the A version. Yeah, there you go. Nice. Uh, okay. And so wait, is that just a cancel that you can just do for some? Uh, I guess it's on only a hit, maybe. Oh, yeah. It's just the, it's just the connects on the opponent like thing. <laughs> yeah. Interesting. interesting. Wow. Okay. Um, well, varying the time of the restraint with the aerial. I mean, that makes sense because otherwise it would be super good because I can just do this one into the A version of this or something. All the time, yeah. Yeah, and just be safe all day. Okay. And then uh, outside the corner, if you gauge the distance incorrectly, you'll whip past them, leaving yourself way open. Oh, C version is also an overhead, huh? So low oh, block. Oh, really? Dang, full oh, screen overhead. Okay, okay. <laughs> And then her infinite worth, whoops, is a... Uh... Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, cool. Whip straight out two characters in front of her, creates a long clash glass effect. Uh, you gotta be extremely with, careful with, it's not useful on its own. If you whisk the first part... Oh man, the oh, yeah, The opponent super can short. block the rest that they know what's coming. The super is best used as a combo ender, or as, or as the whip is need to connect initial... It, as the whip is what needs to connect initially. It can OTG and punish rushdown offenses and many air attacks as long as they're not cross-ups. So there you go. Mm -hmm. Okay. Impulse. Uh, impulse, which oh, is our force like function. The spinny thing. Yeah. Uh, you can uh, spin a whip, covers the air in front of her for a second before striking the ground, causing a large shockwave to burst forth. If it connects from the beginning, it hits the opponent four times and knocks down. You can charge it. Dang. Oh, you get a wall bounce off of that. Wow. Uh, lasts a second longer and the shockwave causes wall bounce. I wonder if I can actually... I bet you if I'm in the corner, I probably can get it. Oops. Yeah, set in a silly back I know. Stupid ninja. Yeah, yeah, there you go. The, the okay. Right distance, okay. Yeah. All right, uh, this move is pretty dope in terms of stand stopping air and standing attacks, but range low and ground projectiles will break through her spinning animation. So basically, while I'm standing here doing this, 
you can actually like Nana say can definitely get under that and stuff like that. So yeah. Okay, so you can use these as combo extenders, you know, if you yeah. have them like that. So. Interesting. Yeah, nice. Yeah. Okay. So top three easy normals to use for B they talked B. about. This oh, move man. looks like and the move. And you run away. Dang. Yeah. Imagine if Dalsim like took a step back after every time he did it. <laughs> That'd be mad. Uh, <laughs> works pretty good for sniping opponents out of the air as well as working as a launcher on the ground. No matter what, when it connects, it'll pull the opponent towards you, making air combo setups easier. Oh, because I can jump off of yeah. this. That's right. Duh. So I don't even need to... Okay. Jesus. And if you block it, I won't jump. So it's just like it's automatic. You can just hold up yeah. forward afterwards. Confirm, easy confirm. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, she's okay. Um, uh, it's not safe on block unless you're at the furthest distance. Oh yeah, look at that. That was straight yeah. up punished there. Okay, so she does have to be careful with that then. Jump to B, increased. Huh. Oh, what the heck? Interesting. Uh, it's an angle, it's a downward angle jump kick. Whoops. Huh. Uh, while the normal version com causes Phonon to pogo off of people. Oh, uh, interesting. Okay. It knocks down and tries to combo right. off of it. Yeah. The increased version causes a hard knockdown, whether or not the opponent is standing or crouching, which makes it an overhead, which opens up OK and OTG opportunities. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Uh, while the normal version is extremely unsafe on block. Yeah, this one. Can I turn around? Yeah. Ooh. Well, let me just see if I turn around on this. I do. Okay. Okay. Uh, jump four B. So I have a jump back B as well. Whoa! Oh, I guess it's kind of cross up, huh? Yeah. She's got a taco kick basically. Uh, phone on whips downward behind her. This is actually a cross up. Comes out immediately and is safe on block since it and since it pulls the opponent towards her. If block sets up for throw situations, they might not see coming. Whoops. Interesting. Huh. Okay. If they do, however, you'll at least tech or hit them with binding, beautitude, restraint, or guiding ascension. Mm -hmm. Okay, there you go. Um, nice. Okay. Uh, top uses for meters combo enders, aerial EX affliction, which is uh, this thing here. Uh, works wonder at the end of air combos as well as after any version of restraint. Uh. Yeah. Yeah, oh, that's Probably nice. Get a combo oh, can I? Yeah, I know, I was about to say. Yeah. Dang, Dang. okay, okay. Jeez. EX Affliction seemingly uh, has homing properties after landing a hit on your opponent. Okay. Uh, so that's the top use of meter there. Mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. Example of an easy block string that is safe is basically 5A, 2A, 5BB. Oh, so she has an automatic B follow up. So. Say like that, right? Into 5C, both hits. Oops. Oh, no. I, at 5BB, uh, I don't think you can... Oh, I'm that. messing up right now. Uh, I'm trying to do... Um, that's what I'm trying to do. Okay, 5C, uh, both hits. 4B into 2C. Oh, I could... Wow, is 2C not... Is that safe on block? It is, I think. Yeah, it is. So basically, you can just do. Whoops. Uh, I'm supposed to do. Um, sorry. Yeah, that's what uh, it is right there. Yeah. Interesting. And then I'm wow. safe. Okay. Dang. So 5A, 5B, and then 4B, and then jump cancel basically is her uh, B and B combo. So basically, if I just do. Um, um, and then, uh, what is it? Jump 5A, jump 2B, increased version. Oh, really? Oh. Okay. So that's a down. super simple combo then right here. So, yeah, um, it kind of ends early. Whoops, down B, down B. Uh, and then charge down B. Yeah, you can probably do that. That's fine. Like that, and then that leads to Oki basically right there. Yeah. So, okay. High level technique you'll need to learn. Chain shifting is imperative for using phonon at high levels. For example, rhythmic satisfaction um, and the increased versions of affliction end in flourishes. 
uh, that lever open, but chain shifting him so I can do something like. Uh, oops, I don't have it. I can do chain shift to keep it safe. Can I do that on whiff? Hang on. Yeah, I can. So, okay, there you go. So you can either continue your combos or get yourself out of potentially bad situations. Chain shifting is also imperative to maximize damage. So she's going to be concentrating on trying to build up as much meter as she can. Do. Yeah. Ugh, full uh, screen sweep. Yeah. yeah. So I, and I can see uh, maybe a situation maybe where if she whiffs like like a, like that C, it's like oh crap they jumped. It's chain shift. Like, right. Gotta yeah. Keep myself safe. yeah. Uh, exactly. Exactly. Uh, cheapest tactic is her weird corner trap effects that come from the B versions of restraint and guiding ascension. So restraint is. I guess this thing here. Which one is guiding ascension? No, that was guiding ascension. And then uh, restraint, restraint is the two two B, I think. Is uh yeah, you're right. Okay. Oh dang. Oh, so they will oh. always aim for you here. Okay, gotcha. Oh, because she goes up yeah, higher. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's see. Her weird corner trap effects that come from B versions of restraint. And guiding ascension. Okay. Uh, players to watch and learn from. <laughs> he credits you. What? You, if you stick with her and use what the stream teaches as a jumping off uh. point. <laughs> There's plenty of good phone on matches online and gay in the Odd Show archives on YouTube, but he's not sure of any uh, phone on players out of the gate. Mm -hmm. So there you okay. go. But uh, I'm sure Kenny yeah, Ryan. I know that there's a... one player who's really good. Uh, Klim? Like I, I kind of reached. I, I did. Oh, I, I, did is, I did reach out to him, but then he was he was really busy. C so. Lim from Canada. C Lim. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, C Lim from Canada. Yes. Yes. Yeah, I reached out to him, but he was he was busy. So. Oh, four B is also. Of course, you can chain it as yeah. well. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Just half the screen. It's all good. It's like pressure all. Yeah, it's like own. I try to jump that. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah. Oh yeah. well, if I if, if I hit a button, yeah, you'll get yeah. it for sure. But if I just do that, nope, it's gonna nope. be safe. <laughs> All right, there you go. All right, so, so phone that's on. her.